welcome back everybody it's nova the one the only and the only phenomenal player ever <laughs> but um what i really wanted to do for you guys today is bring together a dual perspective view on the completion of the dragonflight uh greed of the dragonflight quest that you can activate in your strongholds now if you're wondering like oh where do i where do i do this how do i how do i be a part of this amazing slaughter of, of dragons well you have to be in a guild and if you're not in a guild they are very easy to join um i recently just joined up with uh genocide uh, a few days ago and you know we are very very active you just have to find the right guild that's you know always always active basically so in order to activate this quest, a traveling wizard has, you know, made his way back into the strongholds and he will offer you the chance to activate uh, Greed of the Dragonflight every two hours starting at 10.30 a.m. in the morning. Now, this event can be triggered by using Golden Bells also, which can be purchased from the Zen Market using Zen or you can convert your Astral Diamonds into zen to actually buy the bell so the objective of the game the objective of this quest is to defeat four stronghold dragons in under 10 minutes now you might be saying four dragons in 10 minutes shit that's fucking easy we can do we can do four dragons in under five minutes in in tiamat but wait here's the catch once you already destroy one dragon, um, the other dragons will then leave in a matter of one minute. So what you have to do is, as you can see right now in perspective one, we are headed to the, um, uh, I forgot which dragon head that is. We are headed to the blue dragon. Now, there's gonna be two teams of people. And the two teams, you're gonna have Half of the team start at the red head, which is in the top left-hand corner of the map. And then you're going to have the second team start off on the green head, which is on the bottom right hand of the map. And once you guys are fighting those dragons and you get those heads down to below 5%, now you don't want to kill it because remember, once you kill one dragon head, the other heads will then leave after one minute. And you need more than one minute to kill one dragon. I don't care how much DPS you have. You just you just can't do it unless you're God. And I don't think anybody here is God. At least that I've seen. <laughs> okay. So after you get your first head down, you're going to make your way over to the your next head. So if you are on red team, which is on perspective one, you are going to make your way over to the... Um, the blue head which we're at right now and if you were on green team you're gonna make your way over to the black head which is on perspective two now these four dragons they uh they they have a way they have their own special you know set of moves now um the red dragon Cathio the proud he uh he fires out multiple fireballs in the surrounding area so that's like really close to him and uh you know he does lots of fire aoe's and you know he does the normal stuns and the normal fly flying up now the green head which is oxuno the treacherous he spews out poisonous smog that covers the entire the entire portion of the um of the area that you're fighting in and it does do poison damage over time to you and it can get really hectic because without a uh, a bubble which is so needed when you're doing dragon flight it is it's just really really hard to uh to, to just do it all now the blue dragon 
I'm not really sure how to pronounce the name, but you guys already know which dragon that is probably. Um, it's probably one of the hardest dragons, I think, in my opinion. You can see that right now we're about to get that dragon below 5% health, and he's about to fly up right there. That's on perspective one. He does lots and lots of AoE damages, um, you know, around him and in random spots around the map, like right where I'm at right now. Uh, he can do an AoE right there, just like a little small one, just like a little small one. And, you know, he, he just, he knows, he knows where you are and he knows how, how to damage you uh, properly. Now, the Black, ja the Black Dragon, which um, I'm heading back to right now on Perspective 2, he basically has um, uh, an, an acidic bite that eats away at your damage resistance, which is very important. And also, when a player dies near this uh, black dragon, um, minions from this dragon's, I guess, cult or whatever, uh, they spawn. They spawn every time a player dies, and they attack your other guildies. So you know, it's very. This is probably the second hardest dragon, I think. It's very important that you don't die on this dragon because it will just spew up more and more enemies that your uh, that your team, that your guild has to deal with. Now, the way that my guild and I did it is we started off with 40 people all together. So we had 20 people starting off on the red team and 20 people starting off on the green team. And we had a mixture of paladins, clerics, Wizards, Warlocks, Rogues, Hunter Rangers, Guardian Fighters, and Great Weapon Fighters. And, you know, you just want to have a balanced team overall. And as you can see in Perspective 1, we have already got our two heads down to 1%, 2%. And that's where you want to leave it until the last dragon, which in our case is the Black Head, is about to be defeated and once that last dragon head is defeated then you can go ahead and wipe the other dragons because it will not take you more than 10 10 seconds to get uh three dragon heads down to uh zero percent from one percent so you're gonna have 20 people at one at one team which is the red team and you're gonna have 20 people at the green team and the red team will go to the blue head after, and the green team will go to the black head after. Now, the rewards that you can get from this are, are pretty good because, you know, they do benefit your guild a whole lot, and it's very important that you do, um, you know, donate to your guild. Now, there's four ranks of um, uh, uh, prizes that you can get. And the first one, of course, is the strong box of Dragonflight, which does contain um, fangs of the Dragonflight to get your Dragonflight gear. And it also contains a random voucher. Now, for the second rank, you can get the uh, strong box of Dragonflight again. And you get two random vouchers. And you also get an extra uh, fang of Dragonflight and 80 seals of elements. Now, for the third and fourth... Um, Prize, you can get the same thing as uh, the previous one, the strong box of Dragonflight, and you get three random vouchers or four random vouchers. And for the fourth prize, you can get three extra Dragonflight fangs to purchase your Dragonflight armor. And in special cases, you can receive a strong box of Astral Diamonds, strong box of gems, strong box of influence. Or a strong box of surplus equipment now as you can see here we did just complete the greed of the dragon flight it was pretty pretty smooth it did it was pretty smooth I did die a couple times but you know that's no big deal I got VIP 7 other than that if you guys have any questions comments or you know want to tag along on a greed of the dragon flight run that we do feel free to comment or drop a message or you know message me on, on xbox live i would definitely love to help everybody out other than that you guys i will catch you guys on the next one